Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I installed a solid state drive into my Samsung out of 6 laptop. Just a word of warning if you're trying to do this yourself, replacing the hard drive in this laptop will void your warranty. That being said, the first thing you're going to need to do is clone your hard drive over to your solid state drive. I'm not going to get into the specifics on how to do this, there are plenty of tutorials online, I'll leave a link in the description. Some solid state drives come with migration software and hardware while others don't. So make sure you know which one you're getting and whether or not you're going to need to get an extra cable for that. Once you've cloned your hard drive, the next step is to open up your laptop. You're going to need a screwdriver, a paper clip, and a plastic card like a credit card or an ID. Before you open up your laptop, you'll want to disable the battery. Because the battery is not user removable, Samsung included this toggle that you can access with a paper clip to turn off the battery and it's going to stay off until you plug it in again. So I'm just checking here to make sure that the power button is not turning the laptop on. Next you'll want to unscrew the screws on the bottom of the laptop. There are two on each corner, one covering the RAM slot and two more in the middle. Once you've removed all the screws, you'll want to gently pry up the cover of the RAM slot. Then comes the tricky part. You're going to need to dig your nail in between the seams. I find it easiest to do this on one of the corners. And once you've got enough space, you can get your plastic card in there to help you work your way around the rest of the laptop. You need to be careful that you don't push your card too far in as you might damage some of the internals of the laptop. So what I did is once I got my card in there, I just gently slid the card along the front seam of the laptop. Once you got the front open, you can carefully go around the corners and work your way down the sides with the card. You just want to be a little bit careful about where the USB slots are and I found it easier to alternate while working on both sides instead of trying to open one all the way since when you open one a little bit it makes it easier to open the other side. I couldn't find a way to wedge my card under the back of the laptop so I just carefully pried it open. Just make sure that you expand the ethernet port before taking off the cover. This part was a little bit scary because I was worried that the plastic would crack but I just went slowly and it eventually came off. Alright, now that the hard part's over, the rest is pretty self-explanatory. You just want to unscrew the four screws holding down the hard drive. I had already installed a different solid state drive in this laptop before, which is why the hard drive doesn't look the same as what you're going to see. When you're taking the hard drive out, make sure you disconnect the SATA cable. It's pretty short, so you're going to want to do that as soon as you've loosened up the mount. I had already done this while installing my last drive, but the last step is to just remove the four screws holding the hard drive to the mount. Now that you've gotten the hard drive out, all you need to do is replace all of the screws and you should be good to go. Just be careful not to pinch the white wire between the fan and hard drive and don't forget to reconnect the SATA cable. Once I finished installing the new solid state drive, I wanted to test to make sure my computer would boot up before snapping the cover back in since it's such a pain to take apart. You're going to need to plug the laptop back in since you disconnected the battery. So don't be worried if you hit the power button and nothing happens. Just make sure that you have your laptop plugged in. When you're snapping the cover back in, I think it's easiest to start from the side with the hinge. While the front side can be a little difficult to get in. I couldn't snap the front into place right away. So I just replaced the screws, which helps. If you're going to be putting a lot of pressure on the front, you might want to open up the hinge a little bit so that you're not pressing on the screen. And that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you.